Welcome to Unit 7 on Enzymes. By the end of this video, you will have an understanding of the characteristic of enzymes. So let's begin with an introduction. A living system controls its activity through enzymes. An enzyme is a protein molecule that is a biological catalyst with three characteristics. First, the basic function of an enzyme is to increase the rate of a reaction. Most cellular reactions occur about a million times faster than they would in the absence of an enzyme. Secondly, most enzymes act specifically with only one reactant, called a substrate, to produce the product. The third and most remarkable characteristic is that some 3,000 enzymes that the cell is genetically programmed to produce regulate cell activity. If even one enzyme is missing or defective, the results can be disastrous. Enzymes are commonly named by adding a suffix, A-S-E, to the root name of the substrate molecule it is acting upon. For example, lipase is the name of the enzyme that catalyzes the hydrolysis of a lipid into three fatty acids and one glycerol molecule. Sucrase catalyzes the hydrolysis of sucrose into glucose and fructose. A few enzymes discovered before this naming system was devised are known by common names, and some examples of these are pepsin and trypsin, which catalyze the hydrolysis of proteins into peptides. As mentioned earlier, enzymes are made of protein molecules bonded to one or more parts called cofactors. This enzyme complex is usually simply referred to as the enzyme. A cofactor is a non-protein substance which may be organic and called a coenzyme. The coenzyme is often derived from a vitamin. The activating role of a cofactor is to either activate the protein by changing its geometric shape or by actually participating in the overall reaction. The overall enzyme contains a specific geometric shape called the active site where the reaction takes place. The molecule acted upon is called the substrate. With this basic understanding of enzyme structure, we will next learn how the enzyme-substrate complex is formed.